I don't have much of a script for this video. A few weeks ago, I saw a clip of a Japanese inventor who has been running his own micro hovercraft laboratory for years. So I asked my local producer in Japan to get in touch and ask, while I'm in the country, can I please meet the inventor? Can I see the hovercraft and maybe have a go flying it? So now we've taken the bullet train to Tsubame City, two hours north of Tokyo, and we're going to meet Hideyasu Ito at the local sports centre. Now, I do have a little bit of experience with hovercraft. But this is one person's homemade vehicle, so uh, I'm going to be careful not to break it. More than 10 years ago, I found somewhere that was selling really cheap leaf blowers. I bought one, even though I really didn't have any use for it then. A few years later, I found that someone had made a hovercraft using a similar leaf blower. So I thought, why not make one myself? At first, I was just interested to see if my hovercraft would actually work. But as time went on, I started to come up with more and more ideas, like, let's make a smaller one. Let's make it electric-powered. Let's make something that children can ride on. Or, let's make something you can ride standing up. Each of those concepts has its own unique charm that I found as I worked on bringing each of them to life. Hello. Could you demonstrate? Could you show, show me around? Thank you. Let's start with the basics. I buy common materials like lumber from home improvement stores. I also use bicycle parts and components from radio-controlled cars, and I usually buy those online. At first, everything was handmade, but now I also use a 3D printer. And I can also source a lot of small, specific parts from China. I actively try to use resources like that. Here at the workshop, I'm making hovercraft using just my hands and simple tools. So if someone out there wants to try and make a hovercraft too, it's definitely possible. How do you steer? This button. Turn. Turn. Okay. Bo both switch straight. Okay. Okay. And this uh, clockwise the up and down. About uh, seventeen zero zero. One seven zero zero. Okay. You know how drones normally have four propellers? I thought that if I could mimic that, I might be able to create something interesting. That would mean I'd have to create a space in the center so the pilot could straddle it. And I thought that might be a design that would work well. Steering this is uh, as difficult as any other hovercraft I've driven, which is saying something. You have to push the right button to turn left. The left button turns right because that's how it's fast. Okay, so I want to turn the left side. Now I want to turn the There we go. A bit of power now. Here we go. This is amazing! <laughs> Can I get it to go in the direction I want to? Not right now, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying. My camera operator keeps gesturing at me to follow it. I'm, I'm doing my best. I really am doing my best. I think the inventor's gone to the bathroom and he's left me in charge of the hovercraft. <laughs> I appreciate that he trusts me this much, but I'm not sure he should. When I posted it on Twitter a while ago, the view count just kept going up. I got a lot of feedback from people who said they found it interesting. But for me, it's just part of my everyday life, so I'm actually a bit baffled as to why it's got such a reaction.
That is incredible. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Model 8 worked fairly well, so I got to work on Model 9. And I had a really simple idea. What if I just make it half the size? Of course, I knew before building it that it'd be unstable. But now that I've actually made it, somehow it works. It's like I've made a cross between a car and a motorcycle. As for the future, well, I haven't thought enough about this plan yet, but I want to try and make hovercrafts that you can wear on your feet. I think that'd be fun.